Thanks for checking out Scotty's Hobbies. In this video, I'm gonna give you some information about your catalytic converter on a 2014 to 2019 Toyota Corolla. I just uploaded a quick short of the location, but I'm gonna give you a little bit more information on that component in this video. Now, what the catalytic converter does is cleans up the exhaust that's leaving the engine to make it breathable air or clean air. That's all it's on the uh, vehicle for. It doesn't increase or decrease performance. Some say if you knock the catalytic converter out, or take it out, it could increase performance, and that might be so, but really the give and take, especially on a Toyota Corolla, I would just keep the catalytic converter on. If you have a catalyst below efficiency code and over 100,000 miles on the vehicle, more than likely the catalytic converter is bad. And if you are going to replace your catalytic converter, depending on what state you're in, you might need a CARB compliant, so that'd be a California Air Resource Board compliant uh, catalytic converter for your vehicle. Even living in New York, New Jersey, I think there's other states that you will need a CARB compliant catalytic converter uh, for the vehicle. You can't just throw a cheap eBay catalytic converter on any vehicle these days. Anyways, those cats suck anyways, and they don't last as long, so always make sure you get a good catalytic converter when you are replacing your cat if you need to, especially with your uh, b catalyst below efficiency threshold code. So catalytic converter your only one that should be replaced if you get a catalyst below efficiency code is your front cap. The one that is between the Bank 1 Sensor 1 Oxygen Sensor and the Bank 1 Sensor 2 Oxygen Sensor, that's the only cat that is monitored by the computer. The other cats that are downstream in the exhaust stream are not monitored by the computer, so there is no need to replace those if you get a catalyst below efficiency code. If this video did help you out, make sure to like, subscribe, and share. Tell everybody about Scotty's hobbies. Comment below with the year, make, and model of the vehicle that it did help you on, and make sure you check out the video library before you go too far. Thanks for checking this video out, and I'll see you guys on the next hopefully helpful video.